Number one on our test review, we're looking at Julie's school has 36 sixth graders and 48 seventh graders. What's the ratio between sixth graders and seventh? So they want the sixth first, then the seventh. So let's write this down. We have a 36 to 48 ratio. Now we want to write this in its simplest terms. So just like with simplifying fractions, we need to find a common factor between 36 and 48, most, uh, most appropriately the greatest common factor. And I'm thinking 12 is the greatest common factor between 36 and 48. I think of all the factors of 36, all the factors of 40, and I could list them out and find the greatest common factor. Or you should just start plugging away. And uh, if you don't come up with the greatest common factor, you could say, well, 6 is a factor of both. So six, 36 times, divided by 6 is 6. 48 divided by 6 is 8. But we look and these both have factors. They both have a factor of 2. They both can be divided by 2. So 6 divided by 2 is 3. 6 divided by 8 is 4. So there's a 3 to 4 ratio between the 6th graders and the 7th graders um, at Julie's school. So the answer would be B. Ideally, you would have come up with 12 as being the greatest common factor and come up with 36 divided by 12 is 3, 36 divided by uh, 48 is 4. You would have got the same thing. But it's okay if you don't always come up with the greatest common factor. So, so let's take a look at this one. A popular juice drink costs $2.40 for six drinks. We're still with the ratios now. What is the unit cost of one drink? How much is one drink? So we're going to work with our ratios again. So we have a ratio of $2.40 for every six drinks. So what, and that's going to be equal to how much for one. And our cross products always work here. So we can say $2.40 divided by one is 2.40 and equals and then we have 6 times x. That's going to equal to 6x. So t for 6 drinks, 6 times what unit cost is going to equal $2.40? So I do the inverse of multiplying and divide each side by 6. 6 times x equals $2.40. 6 and 6. So I could just work this out here. $2.40 divided by 6. Uh, so to six, 2 cannot be divided by 6 and go into evenly. Got to bring up the decimal point. But 24 can be divided by 6 or 2.4 really with this decimal here. And that goes 4 times. And I can bring down the 0. 0 here. Well I get 4. So the answer is 4. Well, there is no 4, because the answer is not 4. Remember, I have this decimal point, and I'm dealing with money. So it's no dollars and 4 dimes or 40 cents. 40 cents. So the answer is 40 cents. Let's take a look at one more here. They, got, they have a fancy graph here. Let's take a look at it. Uh, the graph shows the relationship between the, the number of hours James works at his job and the amount of money he gets paid. <clears throat> at this rate, how much would James work in 10 hours? How, so we're looking for how much would James make <clears throat> in 10 hours. So looks like for a half hour he gets five, kind of hard to tell, a little less than five dollars. But it tells you right here for three hours... Right here, it's a little bit hard to read because it's falling in between. But they're they're thankfully they're listing in here for three hours. He earns twenty four dollars. So once again, we're still doing our ratios. We're still doing our cross products. So let's see here. So for every three hours, he's getting twenty four. Um, how is how and that's gonna the, it's gonna. 
that's going to equal the same ratio if he works 10 hours he's gonna get X so cross products once again getting kind of sloppy here cross products once again 3x 3 times x is going to be equal to 2, 24 times 10, that's 240. How do I isolate the x? I divide each side by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1, or just x. I could write 1x. 240 divided by 3. You know, I'm going to cheat here. 240. divided by 3, well, I'm not really cheating, is 80. So the answer is 80, not, the question is, how much does he get paid? For 10 hours, he gets paid $80, so it would be D. And does that make sense? $3, are there ones here I could eliminate? 3 hours for $24, 10 hours, he's obviously not going to get $125, $3, 10 hours is over three times as much as three hours. Three, three, six, nine, it's over three times as much. So he's not going to get, it's going to be more than 31, quite a bit more. So 20, well, 40, let's think about 40. Three hours is 24. If I double both those, six hours, he'd get 48. I'm already over. He worked 10 hours, so... I probably could have just looked at these distractors here and eliminated these three and come up with my 80, but it's always good to work things out.